friends. How are you doing today? Today we're going to go on another bird adventure. Are you ready, friends? Today we're going to read a book called Fine Feathered Friends. I'm so excited to go on this flying adventure today. Are you? Let's go, friends. I'm the cat in the hat, here to say a few words about all of your fine feathered friends, known as birds. <gasps> the cat in the hat is coming to teach the kids about birds. There are millions of birds. I will show some to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Now, the birds we will meet are alike in some things. They each have a beak, right here's a beak, and a tail and two wings to help them fly. They are covered in feathers and stand on two legs. And when they have babies, they hatch out of eggs. Birds come in all colors, all shapes, and all sizes, and live in a world that is full of surprises. How many bird friends do you find at your house? The world's biggest bird is the ostrich. You see? It can stand nine feet tall. Why, that's taller than me. I'm only 5'7", so that's a lot taller than me. The bee hummingbird is so tiny and so small, it's just two inches long. That's the smallest of all. That's so small compared to the ostrich. So tiny. Two inches is mm, like that big. Two inches. That's not very big at all. That's a tiny bird. And its wings beat so fast that they hum when it flies. And the eggs that it lays are just jelly bean size. You know, like those little candies? They're so tiny and cute. A bird gets its name from the simplest things. What it does, how it looks, or the song that it sings. The chickadee's name for the sound of its song. It's chickadee dees in the trees all day long. And the beautiful blue jay you see flying by has feathers as bright and as blue as the sky. Those birds are so pretty. They have nice blue colors. Have you seen a blue jay? I have. While the spoonbill who lives in a marsh or lagoon is named for its bill, which is shaped like a spoon. That's funny. His beak is like a spoon. And meet the bald eagle, I'm happy to say. He's the national bird for the whole USA. Though his name says he's hairless, he's really not bald at all. He's the symbol of freedom, whatever he's called. So there's the bald eagle. Have you seen an eagle, my friends? I've seen him at the zoo. Have you? When you're looking for birds, you can listen to hear the sounds that they make that are near to your ear. We could hear all the different ways they talk. Like the owls go, whoo, and the herons who squawk, or the doves gentle coo, coo. That's the way that they talk. You know how we talk, friends? We use words. We use words to talk. They use noises and sounds. Or a parakeet's trill or a guinea hen's cluck, the boom of an ostrich, the quack of a duck. Quack, quack. Right, friends? Ducks say quack. The cry of a loon or the caw of the crow or the catbird who meows like the cats that I know. 
So there's all the different birds. I see a duck, an owl. Wow, friends, they all make different noises. Some birds that you see love to glide in the sky while other birds stay on the ground and can't fly. Now, birds have some habits we may think are strange, but these habits are things that they can't ever change. Like the emperor's penguin who lives in the snow where there's nothing to build a warm nest with. And so, when a mom lays an egg, it goes up on dad's feet. And until it hatched, he can't move and he can't eat. So friends, the dad stays with the egg and waits and waits and waits for it to hatch. And the baby is born. Then it's mom's turn to help to take over and keep an eye on the baby. So now the mommy takes over. And, well, the daddy gets some sleep. Look how tired the daddy is. He's laying in the snow because he had to stay up all the time till the baby hatched. When a male's whooping crane feels it's time for romance, he hops up and down in a strange kind of dance. And then the other bird comes by and sees him and thinks, hmm, I like him. When birds want to go on a winter vacation, they all take a trip and they call it migration. So all the birds fly away. Oh, look at the time. Why the minute just flew, we must get you home. I know just what to do. Come on, follow me. You will see what I mean. Where do you think they're going, friends? How do you think they're going to get back? <gasps> it's my fine feather all-weather flying machine. There is just room for you both, so just hop right on in. You'll wing right back home. You'll be there in a minute. So they hopped on the big bird flying machine. Dear Dick and Sweet Sally, Oh, how was your day? said their mama. Did you have fun? Did you learn? Did you play? Please tell me about it, but first, a surprise. I've been to the pet store. Now quick, close your eyes. <gasps> what do you think the surprise is? What do you think the mommy got from the, the pet store? Hmm, let's find out, friends. I bought you a bird. It's a baby all covered in soft, downy fuzz. I don't know much about birds. Do you? Oh, I think they might because the cat in the hat just told them. That's right. Who knows about birds? The cat in the hat, of course. Thanks to the cat in the hat, now Dick and Sally know too. And so do you, friends. Thanks for coming on our bird adventure today. Bye, friends.